Sir, the enemy forces are driven off, and our course is secured. Good. We're going to charge the enemy. All ships full speed ahead. Acropolis, make an opening for us. Are you telling us to take the lead again? Do I need to repeat myself? Understood. Commencing charge. Vieira is using his CO power, which is RUN AWAY! RUN AWAY! Ah! He's going to retreat at full speed towards the enemy. Because literally, there's a big battle going on at Hargantin, and he's running away from it. <laughs> Actually, now that you think about it, now that I think about it, this could be just, you know, high command attempt to get rid of Vieira before he can actually cause damage in the main fight. That is a strategy that cannot possibly go wrong and is absolutely in no way ever going to come back to bite us in the ass at a later point in the plot. Yeah, that makes sense. Never once. Hold our course, we can't let them figure out what we're- Yes, just keep going straight, right into their yes. guns. We're charging right past them, I think that's pretty unambiguous. You're charging, they're charging. Everyone is charging at each other. I really just want to see the capital ships collide. How long, how long do you think it's going to take him this time to remember to get his wingman out of formation? Oh god damn it! I don't know if he ever does. Like, he definitely did it in the last video, and we, Alternate Timeline, talked about it. Hey, he had those guys on support. doing <laughs> something. Yes. Um. Now they're not doing anything. Again, which is pretty much par for the course whenever he's playing. Yes, TZAF Captain A, you can't mess this up. It's the first step of the operation. All you have to do is run away. Engine power, like, maximum, just go. Afterburner that. You see the, you see those, like, that, that one guy in the white ship who's firing all the missiles? You just point him at the enemies, and then sit back, and Ow! turn your energy up. Yes! Uh, two minutes, eight seconds! He set them to attack his target. Now they're going after that frigate that he's locked on. There they go. Die, frigate. Die. You impress me more with every video. You're actually, dare I say, getting good at the game. He's almost as though he's learning. This is. He says as he runs out of ammo. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I was using all my ammo. That I was expending munitions. Whatever. It made sense. At the Run away. Back to reload. On a completely unrelated note, I would like to talk for a little while about how kind of cool it is that every little mission in this game has its own battle that's going on, and the battle is actually going on. Your ships are actually shooting each other, they are all actually dealing damage, and all this little stuff is just working itself out. And in the meantime, there are lasers everywhere, and oh god, it looks cool. So, how many of the uh, capital ships are you going to get? I've already actually gotten six, but those were frigates, so who cares? True. You have the thrush, you can do drive-bys on the battleship. Everything will be fine. At least you would be able to if you actually had a clue on how to use the right stick to adjust your perspective to take advantage of sight homing. Look, my right stick is busy pressing the X and A and Y and B and Z buttons. But you need to know about padlock mode. Padlock mode is the best thing. You just click it once and then you forget about it and it will aim for you. You just sit there building up all of your lock Well, I need to give some advantage. No, you don't. Uh, by the way, this is not a recording error. This is war. Wow. Okay. This is a very pretty That's... part of the battle. This is war, not sports, you know. <gasps> I I am a classy gentleman. I prefer to make my murderer honorable. I am an honorable murderer. That's, that's great. You're a classy gentleman. You drink and fly. I'm pretty sure you're drunk when you play the game as well. And you've got your goddamn wingman in formation again. How did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have to stop watching and go back and let you guys continue just to find the exact point where you somehow got them back into formation. Oh wait, that's probably because it's, it's when, when you send them to a yeah, when you send them to attack something and it dies, they go back into formation for want of anything better to do. Okay, well see, he's already assigned them to do something once. He's completely forgot they exist for the rest of the video. <laughs> yep. He also had a carrier in his sights and then let it get away. Oh, I'm busy with the battleship. 
Battleships are slightly I'm busy more. letting it shoot you repeatedly. Well, yeah. I'm shooting at it. It's tit for tat. Uh, what, what's the Latin term for tit for tat? QED? No, it's no. Uh, I'm just gonna let him make a fool of himself. Yeah. I do not. I do not believe that there is a Latin phrase that is common. Quid quo pro. Quid quo pro. I usually think of that as like a sexy version of tit for tat. That's. Yes, you only save Latin for the bedroom. What? No, it's just like whenever they talk about it at work, they're like, no quid quo pro for, like, getting promotions. Hang on, how, how is, how are the enemy ships supposed to catch us? We are going past them, they are going to Hargantine, and we're going away from them. They're not going towards us, they're going to Hargantine, and what? We're doing the equivalent of capture the flag, where you leave your base, they leave their base, you guys both take the other flag, and then you're left going, well now what do we do? That's always really awkward. <laughs> well that's what's going on here, this is like the big space military battle equivalent. Of just... Of just these poor green ships just going, we don't get paid enough, let's just hit the blue Tron plants in front of us, I don't care. Sweet! Going into the carrier! Crash into it! You could have killed every capital ship in this map using only the thrush by now. I... Also, you might want to duck. Aww. Oh. He was doing so good, too. He just slowly, gracefully floated right into an enemy carrier. He needs to find a way to, like, do this and have us watch. We can just do live commentary and yell at him so he never happens. You are using a beam <laughs> weapon against a shielded capital ship. Why are you using a beam weapon against a shielded capital ship? Granted, he's using all of his <laughs> weapons on the capital ship. Well, he is now. <laughs> See, the raw power of the thrush defeated the carrier. Yep. <laughs> and I feel like that's the only reason why the carrier is down. Uh, Actually, I... Ah! Good. Oh, what are you oh, yes. doing? That's good. <laughs> oh no, this is just a disaster. <laughs> Katana, all of our hopes rest on your shoulders. <laughs> Bulk! Sorry, guys! He is obviously our best pilot. Everybody, follow his lead. No! No, fuck you, Carl! I haven't slow clapped over the internet in a while. That felt good. No, Ellen. You shot Ellen again. When you asked me what I thought of her and I said I'd hit that, I wasn't talking about shooting her. Jeez. <laughs> That was the alternate timeline. Um. Uh, so there's the carrier. Bang bang. That carrier's got a couple guns on it. Where the hell is the flight deck? Oh wait, no, never mind. There's the flight deck. And I when are you going to show off a level two special attack? I have actually multiple times. He's tried, and it's very ineffective in his hands. But it's yeah. hilarious. He only does a level 2 attack when he's trying to do the level 1 for the full time possible. Yeah. Sometimes I, I, sometimes I use the level 2 attack in conjunction with the power cards to cheat at physics. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, level 2... <laughs> what? Do you have 12 fingers? Yeah, the level 2 special attack very briefly accelerates you to ludicrous speed. So you power cut so you don't slow down as fast. So wouldn't you just be going off at near... Okay! So basically it, allow it allows you to maintain ludicrous speed for much longer than would ordinarily be possible. It's what we call an F-Zero as boost maintenance. <laughs> yep. And that is amazing. I've never even thought to do that. Well, I, I hope you would learn that trick after playing the game 11 fucking times. Wait, seriously? Yeah, I have the goddamn Gigaton Club patch. It's Gigaton Club. Oh, that's right. Gigaton of enemy ships shot down. Yes, the game keeps track of the mass of all of the ships. Yeah, that's... And we say the mass of all the ships as though it correctly allocates mass to every ship. Some of its readings are a little bit suspect. Like, as when we take on the end boss, which is like 30 petatons, it's, or gigatons, or whatever. It's 30, tr it's 30 trillion tons. Okay, so 30 gigatons. Spoilers. 
the final I boss is really, really, really big. Teratons, for the love of God, Giga means like ten to the nine. He remembered them, and he told them to break away. Now they're freely doing stuff. Thirty, thirty trillion tons is thirty teratons. Terra, trillion, they both begin with T. He's so you know, ten minutes into the S -I, video. S I S I Mega. Guys. All right, fine. All the same, it's way, way, way fucking bigger than it's more than enough to meet the criteria. Yeah, yeah that that should just be a gimme when you beat the boss. Except it's only actually worth a megaton when you shoot it down. That's so dumb. What is it made like, of? Like styrofoam? <laughs> it's it's made out of carbon nanotubes. Isn't this? Uh, I'll bleep this out. But is it? Ten. Some bullshit. Like, yeah. It's it's ten megatons. And now we have valiantly defeated the enemy. Fly through the corpse. Wait, is it not dead yet? Yeah, you should know. die after We have defeated the, the enemy. Yeah. Yes, it should. Thank you, Fadul and Parcelli, for joining me. And now we have a cutscene. We're all through here, Katana. Good job. Thank you, sir. We are heading into enemy territory. All ships finish preparations and commence jump.